Hey guys, it's Haps, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different, as you can probably already tell. I've jumped into the test server to try out some of the new features that could be coming to the live version of the game. I mean, if we just click play and versus, look, ranked mode could be coming live very, very soon. Now, before we jump into a ranked game, which I will do, if we just head back here, immediately there's a difference, and that is the new design of the main menu. So I'll tell you what, jump into the comments and let me know, do you prefer this new menu to the old one? Let me know down in the comments below, but my honest opinion, my first take on this is, I actually really like it. Um, you can see we've got some of the old orange buttons, bottom left and top right, but I really do like this kind of wooden signage design. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's fitting with the theme. And yeah, I kind of hope this does come to the live game. But let me know down in the comments what you think about the new design of the menu. Now, if we hit welcome to test in this bottom right hand corner, we get the news announcement with all of the new features that are coming to the game. I mean, there's quite a, there's a, there's quite a few here, not, not too many, not too many, but there's a couple of really, really big ones. And then there's a bit of a wordy discussion down here. And the, the couple that I want to really focus on are added one versus one ranked versus, which a lot of people have been asking for. A lot of people in the competitive space have been really looking forward to having a ranked mode in the game and is finally on its way and we get to test it right now. And then secondly, spectator mode. And this is one that I've been hoping for the game to have for so, so long. I've been asking for it and here we go. We get it finally. And this is gonna be perfect for anyone hosting big viewer lobbies. If you get knocked out in your streaming, it kind of sucks that you can't, you know, stream the remainder of that viewer lobby and also kind of show off the winners um, and so now you can. With spectator mode, now you can. We can watch all the way through to the very end. And I think it's a good tool for not only just kind of watching the viewer lobbies, but also learning from other players as well. If you get knocked out, it's a good way to kind of spectate another player, see what they're doing and learn from them. So I think both of these are massive and I'm so pleased that they are gonna be coming to the live version, assuming they get through all of the testing. Now, there's a couple of other things here, I mean, you know, replays now show the whole game. Hard mode and shot reward options are now available in private versus. A couple of artwork changes to pill and canned food. So there are quite a few changes here to look at, um, but rather than go through them all now, I'll link it down below. I'll link the test server and the main Discord so that you guys can kind of have a look in your own time. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'll scroll down. And if you want to pause this at any moment as I'm scrolling, you can just read it straight from this video. There we go. Okay, but what I want to do now is I want to just get out of here. I want to just jump straight into a ranked mode game. Now, if we click versus, I have done a couple of runs beforehand just to kind of test it out just so that I know what I'm doing and some of the features so that I can kind of go through it. And you can see here, my ELO is 1002. Now, the ELO rating starts off at 1000. Every time you win and lose, you're going to be gaining and losing ELO. And honestly, I, I've kind of lost count. I think I've won probably the same amount as I've lost, which kind of makes sense really with my ELO pretty much around a thousand. Now, the ELO itself is going to be split across all of the packs. So you don't have an individual ELO for every single pack. So if you play Turtle Pack, it's going to affect this ELO. If you play Puppy Pack, it's going to affect the ELO. Um, so you don't have it individual. And Custom and Weekly are not part of Ranked. Now, you'll notice here it says two player ranked and eight player unranked. And I think they've done two player ranked only just to kind of keep it simple. Similar with the ELO, I guess, just keeping it simple, keeping it across all the standard packs, just so that it doesn't overcomplicate it for first iteration, so they can iron out any kinks. Now the eight player unranked, we could jump in this and we could test the spectator mode, but honestly, I just want to jump into a ranked and I can kind of then show you uh, what that is all about and what sort of format it kind of runs under. So if we hit two player ranked, we've got turtle pack, we hit start. Actually, just to kind of go over one thing, if you're visiting this for the first time and you hit two player ranked, it will ask you to verify your email. It's super simple, verify it, and then you'll get sent to this page. You hit start and it'll jump in and it'll then be looking to kind of pair you up. And actually this is the first time I just got paired with someone and then it actually disappeared. But we do have a pairing here. You don't have to wait long. It doesn't feel like you have to wait long. And then we go straight into a game. Now the first round you get like 30 seconds, I think. So you have to be pretty quick with the first round. So we'll go through these pretty quickly. Okay, I don't really want double pig, but I guess we'll take double pig. And you may end up getting mat. Let's go for the, I don't know, the elderly ponies. You may end up getting matched against people with a much higher elo than you. Um, just because it's a test server, the pool is gonna be quite small. 
So yeah, you may end up getting matched with people of a high elo. But, you know, if, if you play a couple of rounds, you'll find you'll end up getting matched with people who are very similar, which is what I've got here. But I have been matched with people with 1,100, again, when I've had a similar elo to this. So let's just roll through. Duck, sure. Roll. Can I find... Okay, I guess we got the pig for the triple. Okay, I mean, this is... Um, I was kind of hoping to find find more, but I guess we could run the pig. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Let's see how we get on here. Now, I'm by no means a ranked expert. I pretty much exclusively play arena. So don't expect too many tips from me when it comes to ranked. It is slightly different. You do play slightly differently um, than if you were in the arena. So let's let's level the pig and see what we get. Okay, I mean we we can we could bring in giraffe and go <laughs> we could go big pig. Um, I guess we could do this. We could bring in the worm giraffe and roll and see what. We get. Oh, we don't need another pig. I mean, we'll roll one more. See what else. In fact, what are we actually looking for? I guess something a kangaroo would work here. We could run kangaroo. Do we want to keep piling into the pig? I kind of want to sell the pig eventually. So I think I'm just going to put the stats onto the worm for now. Not really ideal, but I guess if we're going to run worm, we're probably going to want to look for a rabbit or something like that. Um, okay, so a little unfortunate that we lose the pig straight away. Which does mean we take our first loss. Okay, so we're, we're the first to lose a heart. Um, okay, so we do this. Now we bring in you. Roll it. Oh, I should have taken the worm. We got this for next time. Um, what I should have done there is I should have taken the worm apple. I didn't actually see it, but to be honest, it's not going to be too much of a problem. It's only the one gold difference at this stage. I should be buying it though. I should be putting it onto the worm. But we should be okay now. Yeah, okay. Now we've got to try and turn it around. We, we will get it this time. I'm hoping we find... Okay, we get the level up here. Now, actually, Blowfish could be kind of interesting. I haven't... Yeah, let's, let's play Blowfish. Let's do this. Let's put this onto you. We roll. I'm, I do sort of need to find... We'll hold this to see if we... Uh, we'll hold the pill, actually, as well. See if we can find Rabbit, although Giraffe and you're pretty good. Now, we know... We know that we're going to come up against this ant first, most likely. So, we we don't really... We don't really want to be playing the Flamingo first. And actually, this works out. We do get... They get a Blowfish as well. What are the odds? Okay, the kangaroo is going to have to hang around for a little bit because we have put some stats into it with the giraffe. Um, okay, so I think... Uh, honestly, I think I'm going to have to ditch the worm. I think we'll do this. Put this onto you. We're going to bring in this. This. I'm not going to hold the salad. We'll just roll it for now. Okay, we could actually just go straight in with... You, I mean, having having you behind here, I would like to put the stats into you now. So maybe we do something like this. I would like to give the stats to the blowfish. We'll keep the kangaroo around for a little bit. We'll probably pivot out of the kangaroo around turn nine, maybe. Um, we'll see how it plays out. But playing blowfish first here, we should be okay. Having the garlic. Garlic is so big. Okay, that's that puts us in the lead, but we wanna we wanna keep up the scaling. Blowfish there is pretty nice. Bring you in for sure. Roll it. Okay, this is gonna be handy. I think we hold you. I think we'll end up pivoting out of worm at some point. I'm just gonna do this for now though. We'll take the roll. I think we run the same squad. I think next turn we probably sell worm, we bring in the skunk, but we We've got we've only got giraffe for scaling right now. Please don't hit the peacock. Okay, that's good. 
perfect. We don't want to hit the peacock too many times, otherwise we're just going to make the peacock even bigger. So we'll do this, we'll keep making... We're going to go... F we're going to get rid of the worm. We're going to bring in the skunk now. I mean, I'm looking for a giraffe, ideally. We're just going to keep plowing everything into the blowfish. If they find a skunk, then, then that does definitely weaken our team. But while we've got the stat advantage on them, I'm just going to keep applying it here. Next turn, next turn, they could end up finding a scorpion. So we just got to be a little bit wary of that. But that takes them down a two. So we've just got to be careful of scorpions. And honestly, we could run the scorpion gambit ourselves. Like we could do this. Roll. Just buy the stats for now. I think I'm just going to keep buying stats. I think we're just going to keep going because we've got them down to two hearts and we've actually got a significant lead on them. Um, the scorpion will take down the blowfish. I mean, actually, they've got a dolphin. I've actually only just realized they got a dolphin. So if that dolphin stays, the, the scorpion's really not a good idea. I should have looked to see if they had a dolphin. They may get rid of this. If they get rid of the dolphin for, say, like a monkey, then actually that's really good for us. Um, but we'll see. No, they kept the dolphin. Okay, so not good for us in that sense. But I think their dolphin stays around. So we're going to have to get rid of that scorpion. A couple of misplays, but we've actually been fortunate enough to get away with it. Um, so we'll roll. We bring in the monkey for our own kind of scaling. If they have scorpion now, then fair enough. In fact, we, we could play skunk up front. No, we're not going to do it. We're going to assume that they don't have a scorpion. If they do, then we can learn for next time. We'll do this. We'll hold you. Got that for the level up. Okay, we assume that they don't have the scorpion and just the mega blowfish gets it done. <laughs> but we'll see. We will see. It depend Depending on who you play against, like in the higher elo... Okay, they do have the scorpion, but I'm... I'm surprised they do that with the scorpion, if I'm honest. Because it just means that <laughs> we take them down. And there we have it. We get a ranked win on turn 10. Um, a, you know, a couple of misplays from me, I will say. But we do get it done. We do get it done. And then we get plus 15 added to our elo. And I guess that depends on... I haven't actually really taken note. But it probably depends on how much of a difference between your two elos. Depends on how much of an increase or decrease you get. But there we have it. That was ranked and an insight into some of the new features, hopefully coming to the live version very, very soon. As I said, I'll link the test server and the Discord down below. If you wanna go check it out, be my guest. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, maybe like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.